Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about check list box control in CSR.NET Windows form. So first, uh, let's go to add your toolbox and your check list box. I'm going to find. So this is the check list box. So I bought this one. Display a list of items. Or uh, with a check box on the left side of each item. So that display list of item item with check box. So this is a check box and uh, here this is the name and it's all properties of check box and here you can find the events inside the check box. So at your first I'm going to show you the check box example by coding. So clicking double click on the form and uh, here after writing a uh, check box. One. So this is the name of checkbox. Checkbox one. Here. And uh, here after uh, pressing dot. So here, uh, like we add items in combo box, list box. So like this, we can add the items in checkbox by using items with add method. So add here, I'm going to add the item 1, 2, 3 and one more thing after add, adding the items and here I'm just writing check state. So about the check state, so add, add here checked that can be a checked, unchecked or intermediate state. So check state has uh, three things. First is uh, checked, unchecked, intermediate. I specify the state of control. So this is, uh, I specify the state of control. Either it's a uh, checked, unchecked or intermediate. So let's press that one. And if I press dot, so at a we can get uh, we are getting three options. First is checked intermediate. So first I'm going to select the check. And uh, here I'm going to copy this line. And uh, next I'm going to give at here 1 to 4. And uh, this time I'm going to use unchecked. Dot unchecked. And here after giving 1 to 5 and here this time selecting intermediate. So the three states of checkbox checked list box. So let's execute and see. So, see at your first is uh, or see at your first is checked, a state is checked, next unchecked, hereafter this is the sign of intermediate. So, checkbox is checked, list box is the collection of first is checkbox and hereafter list of items. Now here after I am going to show you, we can direct add the items in checked list box. So add here, we need to drag this one in the form and here click on this arrow and here after edit items. So here about enter the string in the collection per one line. So add here I am going to write emp name. And here giving Mike Hussey Danny Rasad. Now let's click on OK. So this is the items that added with a check box. Let's execute one more time. So this time this is a display. So this uh, oh, this checkbox, checked list box, 
by coding and here this is for direct we can add the items direct and here see this is the checkbox and here list of items so we can select anyone here whatever you like you can select add here so this is the second way to add the items now I'm going to show you the third way to add the items by the coding so this time I'm going to use uh, some little bit uh, interesting coding so add here now I'm going to drag one more time checked list box and uh, here so select checked list box 3 and you have to uh, go to event so here I'm going to click on mouse click event so when I click uh, mouse click on the check list box 3 then uh, a one new checkbox created and all the controls that display into the checkbox 3 so let's see here so this time I'm going to use checkbox 3 equal to new check list box and here after checkbox 3 I'm going to set the location dot to or location equal to new point here giving of 50 and 100 now here after giving the name of checkbox checked list box 3 dot add your name equal to or check list box 3 now here after so setting the size of check list box 3 so here giving the size equal to new size here 200 and 80 now here after uh, check list box 3 dot to selection mode equal to or selection mode so if you print dot you can find uh, uh, four options so I'm going to select one and uh, after let's execute the code so if I click on checked list box 3 so add here it's so displaying nothing so one thing I need to do Add here, we need to add the items. So add here, writing controls. Controls dot add. So adding add here, check. Next box 3. Now let's execute. So now I'm going to click there. So see at here one new checkbox or uh, at here. It's so display. And one more thing, I'm going to change the position. Now let's execute. So if I click at here, so it's the checkbox it's displaying. But no item here. I added so I need to add the items. So for this uh, Add here, or uh, we need to use uh, for each loop to add multiple controls. So add here controls C in controls. So add here control. Now here after. I'm going to add the controls or uh, check next box 3 dot here item items dot add. So 
So I am going to add a C. Now let's uh, execute. So now I am going to click there. So see right here it is uh, displaying 3. Checked list box controls because this is a uh, first here, second, this is third. And here this is not showing uh, meaningful uh, name. So what we need to do right here. Oh, let's go this point and you have checked on list box 3 dot your display member we need to write display member equal to at your passing name so what about the name of uh, this checkbox here, this one, and here, this one, that display, when I click checkbox 3, so that display at. So let's uh, execute one more time. So I'm going to click, so see at here, this is the, uh, here, this is for checkbox, checked list box 3, so it's this one here, and checked list box 2, so this is for this one, and here, checked list box 1, so this is for this one. So this is the way we can, uh, or miss or display any or controls inside checked list box and uh, if you like to add so suppose this time going to add add your combo box so combo box I added so let's execute so if I click this point checked list box 3 so combo box will also display at there so see at a combo box one name it's a display. So this is one interesting example of checked list box. If I also oh, combo box has been over now I'm going to use data grid view. So let's uh, execute. So I'm going to click so see at a data grid view name it's a display. So Hereafter, I am going to use a background color to change the background color. So, add here, select thing, check list box 3 dot here back color equal to color dot allies blur. Now, execute. So, here if I click so see at here the background card it's so changed and it's so it's look more attractive. So you can if you uh, add multiple controls in the form and if you uh, write this kind of code then whatever the name of controls that display by using checked list box and this piece of code. So at here one more thing if I or select and here not last time now if I am going to execute here when I am going to select or uh, uh, checked box so it's uh, not selecting because as I said and here not so we need to set at here one then that will work so here let's execute dot capital or any so I'm clicking checkbox checked list box 3 so if you can select here multiple controls now here after here this is the controls so controls like uh, here this the uh, things get and get the correction of controls Contain within the control so that get the control so in the form I added a checkbox checked list box control here combo box and here uh, this is data grid view and here this is a three checked list box so one by one so first that receive at here uh, this is the data grid view, grid view controls and that go to C and here here after C and controls so that go inside and here 
checked next box item dot add so this add the c so data get view post that added here after uh, that uh, control receive uh, receive at a combo box so this time that uh, combo box receives so combo box control c or uh, that receive and here after that coincide so this time that uh, add combo box here after that receive uh, uh, checked list box 3 and uh, check box checked list box 3 that receive here c and here controls so at here this display checked list box 3 here and here about to control so define base class for controls which component with visual representation so like this so next time that receive checked next box to checked next box one so this video i discussed about how to add the items so we can uh, directly add the items with the checkbox here or uh, you need to, to add here edit items and here after I discussed about uh, these things, the steps of checkbox. So this is uh, checked, unchecked and intermediate. So three states. And here after uh, this code. So this code I discussed about uh, how to add to multiple controls in the forms. And that control uh, displaying to the checkbox, checked list box with checkbox. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.